The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not confirmed their attendance at the ceremony in May, however Buckingham Palace is expecting them to be there. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to come to King Charles' coronation together as he would NT be able to cope without her, according to a royal expert. Ingrid Seward, editor of Majesty magazine, explained that the situation is likely to mirror that at the Platinum Jubilee last June, when the Sussexes made a low-key appearance and did not socialise much with the other royals. Harry and Meghan have been invited to the coronation on May 6 at Westminster Abbey, where King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla will be crowned in front of around 2,000 guests. But they have not yet confirmed whether they will attend. Ms. Seward told OK. Magazine about the Sussexes' plans for the weekend, Harry will come to the coronation with Meghan because he would NT be able to cope without her. It'll be like the Platinum Jubilee where they'll appear and then they'll disappear. It would be sensible if they made sure that William and Kate were not seated anywhere too near Harry and Meghan so they won't have to have any proper eye contact with them. When asked how Harry and Meghan would be received by the other royals Ms. Seward replied, the family will be charming. They'll be frightfully nice but cold. There will be no intimacy but they'll put on a good act. Harry and Meghan stepped down as working royals in 2020, making their final public appearance as senior members of the firm at that year's Commonwealth Day service. The tensions between them and Prince William and Kate on that day were clear to see, with their rift only worsening since the publication of Harry's book Spare. This year the Prince and Princess of Wales looked relaxed and happy as they made their way into the Abbey, joined by the King and Queen Consort, Princess Anne and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Last week it was announced that Prince Edward would be given the title formally held by his late father Prince Philip, with Sophie also becoming Duchess. Before his death in April 2021 Philip made it clear he wished Edward and Sophie to inherit the titles. Their 15-year-old son James, formerly Viscount Seven, will now be known as the Earl of Wessex, his father's previous title. However there has been no new title for their daughter Lady Louise Windsor, 19. Harry and Meghan's own children will also now be referred to as Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, after the couple expressed their wish for them to inherit their royal titles. News of the title change was broken last week when Harry and Meghan announced Lilibet had been christened at an intimate ceremony at their home in California.